Sean Sewell with Ingerman.com. This is the Unbound Merino Polo Shirt, size extra large. For reference, I'm six foot one, 205, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, and this is a uh, great fit in my opinion. It's more of a trim or athletic fit, which I really appreciate because I don't want a big boxy fit, um, and it, it's cut really well. It's not too long. You definitely get the little split right there, two button polo design. Kind of hard to tell because I have the microphone right there. But it is a two button design and I wear it like this with one button. And sometimes I'll even have it unbuttoned. It doesn't look too flashy having it all the way unbuttoned. It's not like super low cut. It's uh, very attractive in my opinion. It fits really well and it feels great. It is 53% merino, 47% polyester. And that polyester comes into play, especially on the inside right there. You can probably see a little, uh, it's very smooth. Helps dissipate moisture even quicker. Merino, as you know, I go, I go fanatical about Merino because I'm such a fan. I've got probably dozens of reviews on Merino shirts on our Engearment.com uh, website as well as this Engearment YouTube channel. In a nutshell, Merino breathes ridiculously well, yet somehow insulates when you want to. It's a natural material, sustainable, uh, it's easy to care. Um, oftentimes, I won't even wash my Merino until after several uses. I use a simple non-scented um, detergent and then I lay it flat to dry. Real simple, especially if you're traveling. Merino is awesome for travel because it doesn't really wrinkle that well or doesn't wrinkle that bad. So it stays unwrinkled very well. Uh, easy to carry, like I mentioned, you can watch in your wash it in your hotel sink or in your van or whatever and just air dry it and you're, you're good to go. I have Merino shirts that are lasting about 10 years now. My first shirt was, I believe, yeah, about 10 or 11 years ago, it's still going strong. So Merino's very durable and sustainable, big fan. And it's nice to have that in a polo shirt so you can get a little dressed up. You know, go on a date, go to a, an event, perhaps golf, I don't golf, but people golf, they wear polo shirts, right? Anyways, it's nice to have all the benefits of Merino in a polo shirt. Unbound has uh, other shirts in our lineup as well. They sent over a V-neck, which I'll do that one in part two of this review. And uh, again, I used to wear V-necks pretty often, but I don't come across v and Merino very often, so it's nice that they sent that one over as well. Uh, 110, fair price for war this shirt right here. Put links below so you can purchase one if you like it. A lot of colors available. Yeah, there it is. One more gander at it. Size extra large, more of a trim fit. Uh, a little closer for you can see the tension to detail. It's a really attractive shirt. I like the way it fits. I'm constantly trying to find reasons to wear it. Um, and you can wear it days in a row because Merino doesn't really hold on to stink. Um, this is part two of our Unbound Merino review. In this case, we have the V-neck. So the V-neck is gonna be 100% Merino as opposed to half and half of the uh, polo shirt we just did a review on. And it is 17.5 microns, so that's ultra fine Merino right there. And is 190 in weight. For comparison, the polo we just reviewed in part one was 165. This is 25 grams heavier uh, per meter squared. So it's not thick. It's thicker than the last one, but it's still in the lightweight to medium lightweight category. And it's all Merino, 100%. So of course it breathes really well, it's durable, easy to care, all that fun stuff. And just in the V-neck version. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of Merino. That's no uh, new news to anybody. It's just nice to have it in a V-neck offering. Right there. The fit is not terribly long, so you know it's not designed for sport activity, for tucking in and you know base layer for skiing. Sure it could do that. It's just more of a casual cut and feature. And uh, speaking of cut, I like that it's more athletic or more trim fitting, so it's not as boxy as some other offerings out there from other companies. So if you're looking for more of a trim fit, um, the polo, I love that polo that just did a review on part one. This is the V-neck, big fan of it as well. As you can see, it's not terribly deep. It's just, in my opinion, a good V, not too deep. And it's nice to have an offering like this and not just always have crew necks. So if this appeals to you, put a link below to purchase, $75, very fair price. Sean Sewell with ingamer.com. Till next time, take care.